I'm in Wertheim, and it's a wonderful little town that was economically depressed a few years back after a U.S. Army base closed down. That Army base really drove the economy until the river cruise market stepped in in 2000 and provided a resurgence. Today, one of the things you're going to find here that's very popular is glass blowing. We're going to actually check out one of the local retail shops and then take you to their factory and show you how they actually produce their wares. Most visitors will get a feel for Wertheim glasswork through the collections of beautiful pieces in storefronts and shops just like this one. Well, if you want to see where those beautiful pieces are actually made, look no further than this artist, Hans Iti, who is a seventh generation artist here with glass at Glass House. And Hans, you're working on a piece. What are you going to be making for us? Well, actually, I'm going to make some flowers today. Okay. And uh, these flowers are made from one piece of glass. And I just put some colors on here. All right, and that's what that is. It looks like a powder, but it's not a powder. Well, actually, it is. It's the good old German colored glass in powdered shape. It's actual glass, but it looks like a powder. Interesting. We can buy 150 right. different colored colors and... Uh... Hans goes about crafting with the help of an oven that runs at 2,250 degrees Fahrenheit. That's right, 2,250 degrees Fahrenheit. It takes seven days just to heat the thing up. So I asked Hans who turns it off. He told me power outages. You can just feel the heat coming off this thing. It's unbelievable. Now I'm going to shape the flower okay. after the colors are worked inside. Shaping the flower is a skill passed down through seven generations. Hans starts with the big leaves and he makes it look easy. But don't let him fool you. This flower needs exactly 43 touches with shaping tools, or maybe an air gun or torch as well as a secret family dance just to take shape. Okay, so it's not a waltz, but the dance is a delicate one, and it's the last step before the flower gets sent to bed overnight in what they call a cooling oven, an oven that comes in at an icy 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about 1,000 degrees. You're right. All right. Well, you just made us a flower. Let's go check out some of the larger pieces you make, all right? Thank you. Come on inside and let's check those out. All right, some of the neat things you find here basically in your shop, but more importantly in your store, some of the larger items. You'll see some of the traditional things, like I'm checking this out. Oh my God, that weighs a ton. That's gotta weigh like 30 pounds. That's a heavy one. All right, so it's a, traditional things like a vase, but you do it with a twist. Well, I do it in all different styles. So frogs. And yeah, well, they're hot worked on. It's not, I don't use any glue and, you know, it's so all worked in each other every little bit. Up to yes, get every piece yes, stuck. yes, yes. So that's a vase. Of course, you saw us make a flower, right? But, you also see things like, this is a lampshade. A little lampshade. And it's made of glass. And let me tell you, it's hard glass, really hard. And then of course, you get into some of the larger items and some functional things like candlesticks as well. But you know what? I'm amazed, you can literally do anything with this, with this glass here. You even make jewelry. Well, actually my wife does the jewelry. Ah. It's uh, with the dichroic glass, it's the fusing principle. And I like to use it in a combination also with my oven. So jewelry, I mean, you, you do it all. Well, we all. cover the whole field. Right. Mm -hmm. So what got the family started seven generations ago? Well, what got it started was like scientific instruments. And, and we are very famous in this little town at the River Mine for making scientific apparatus like coolers, condensers. Ah. And I turned it more into the creative direction. So an art. About 25 years ago. Started. So that's really when it started the Yes, with, to be creative, I went, you know, to the German Christmas markets and the location here is just perfect. Well, it really is. What a great little shop. What a great little insight into how this stuff actually gets created. The craft is great, but the glass house was hot, so a stroll around Wertheim in autumn was a necessary cool down. People call it medieval, but the town and market square don't look it. With cafes and half-timbered houses, it is more film festival and BMW than Faust. I enjoyed just wandering around it. It's a great place to do some shopping, grab a local beer or wine, or just relax. The 
castle, though, that thing is pure dark ages. It's a little like tunneling through a mountainside and a little bit like taking the seat of a 9th century German count. It was definitely a history lesson for me. It also made for a great way to finish cooling down, a view that went on for miles.